Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of H.R. 734, the Protection of Women and Girls in Sports Act. In 2022, UVA swimmer and Olympic medalist Emma Wyant was the fastest woman in the NCAA Division I women's 500-yard freestyle race. Unfortunately, she was awarded second place. That's because Leah Thomas, a man who was allowed to swim against her and beat her for the national championship trophy. Leah Thomas, whose given name at birth is William Thomas, ranked 65th among men in the 500-yard men's freestyle. However, he could beat all the biological women. And a female student athlete at nearby Virginia Tech lost her opportunity to compete in the finals because a man took her place. Sadly, Rika Giorgi was one spot away from reaching her lifelong dream and qualifying for the championship finals. Rika did not blame Leah Thomas, but she did write a letter to the NCAA that said, quote, this is my last college meet and I feel frustrated. The final spot was taken away from me because of the NCAA's decision to let someone who is not a biological female compete. You could say I had the opportunity to swim faster and make the top 16, but I can't help but be angry. This is the result of the NCAA and their lack of interest in protecting their athletes, end quote. The NCAA pretends to provide fairness by allowing men to compete as women against true women if they just complete one year of testosterone suppression. Common sense and science tell us that no amount of testosterone suppression can undo biology. We are all created immutably male or female, and every one of our trillion or so cells is either male or female. In fact, the University of Nebraska exercise science professor, Dr. Gregory Brown, has published a study that shows that the athletic advantage of men exists even before puberty and persists even with testosterone suppression. Men have a 40... Men have a 40... Can I get 30 seconds? I'll give the gentleman 30 seconds. Men have a 40 to 50 percent greater muscle mass than women, but on average, testosterone suppression only results in a 5 percent reduction. The left wants to rob talented women and girls of opportunities to succeed and achieve their dreams in the swimming pool, on the court, and on the field because they can't or won't define what a woman is. The American people know this is wrong, and I'm proud to, to vote yes for this bill to protect women and girls in sports, and I yield back.